now I've started the video. What, what, what are we doing here? <laughs> we are, Tell me that. Uh, we are not talking about Deep Proc. Um, we're talking about another sci-fi game. Why is it yeah. immediately after you start talking, it sounds like you've started rearranging all the furniture in your room? Because I'm kind of stupid like that, and I did I, I didn't rearrange stuff. It, it's like you're readjusting your like your like current position, aren't you? Because you, even though you should probably yeah. have done that before we started, right? Right. You thought about it when I started. Your professionalism yeah. is abysmal. I was doing the intro while doing it. You're the one that's distracted me. Point is, I played oh. Mass Effect 1 through 3, not to the end of 3, um, because it was a bit much, um, for like an entire week. Um, and and now we're going to talk about it. Harry played it all like years ago. No, 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 no. I, I finished... Um... I can't actually remember when I started my full playthrough of the whole trilogy, but it was like... I definitely finished it last year. I might have started in 2021. Um, but I played actually Mass Effect 3 at least twice all the way through before that. But also without DLC. So playing through the trilogy for the first time, like playing through the Legendary Edition was pretty fresh. Um, it was both... I played a, a tiny bit of one, but that was one remastered with DLC. I'm actually not sure if one has DLC. And obviously playing two for the first time and then playing three the first time with the context of the previous two and all the dlc which is pretty major in free so but still I, I love mass effect quite a bit it's up there it's my favorite um game series is definitely um i can't say i would put any individual one of them in my top like games but i would put the series in my in like a list of top game series <laughs> definitely yeah i mean it's not often that a, a game franchise kind of hits up like really dead on every time it normally gets progressively worse um, and while i don't think it inherently gets better it stays at a consistent really good for like the three of them yeah um, it's a good thing they only did three games isn't it um, yeah they only did three games um i mean they should probably do they probably shouldn't do any more actually i yeah, i think wrap it, it up I, mean, I don't actually know how it ends i assume the reaper threats are dealt with um that, that's how I would yeah. find it. If you consider, though, if you consider, like, um, sci-fi... Well, not sci-fi. If you consider, like, series and games one and the same, then Mass Effect is my third favourite, probably, sci-fi um, game slash game series. Um, but then I wonder, because of your not being too inclined towards sci-fi, where it would rank for sci-fi things for you? Like... Well, despite... I, I'm not a huge sci-fi fan. So many games are sci-fi that I've still played a fair amount of them. Um, and it, it probably would be top three. I mean, I, I don't know what about... I mean, obviously your top three has Halo in it, I assume, which I comfortably don't. So that frees up a lot of room. It does, doesn't it? Uh, I mean, Starfield isn't winning any awards with me at the moment in sci-fi. So it would be like No Man's Sky, really. Um, probably be the only thing I'd put above it. Because I know, all right, more Fair type, my type of game, um, but it, this is probably a close second. Um, cause and it's it's not really because of the gameplay, not really because of the overall story. Because it's, I mean, the overall story is fine, but the gameplay I generally am not actually a huge fan of. Um, but it's mostly the characters, I think, that you know keep me playing for sure. Mass Effect is a pretty damn character-driven um, thing, uh, m mainly in terms of like why it's so popular uh, or why it's so beloved is characters. I think the story is quite good um, overall, um, but anyway, it, but it, yes, characters are an operative feature, factor, attribute, aspect, word of the day because it is characters we are ranking today they are rank they're disgusting um some of them some of them we don't know at all um yeah there are some like unrecognizable faces in there um but otherwise we can we can give them a good ranking uh, when, and when it comes to people who played mass effect we're pretty low down on over experience if we're being honest when it comes to people who played like the free games um, assume, we have done that, yeah. but we're still probably low down out in terms um, of overall I'm at experience. Least pretty damn, like fresh, like I'm still halfway through the third one. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, when it comes to like who's, I mean, who? The thing is, is that looks really modern, which makes me think that might be the game that we don't talk about. Um, it's not. I, I, think not I don't think it ready. is. And yeah, I have no idea who that is. Um, Brilliant. Yeah, good start, but we can pull ourselves back pretty quick. I, can I we? Know. Who's this then? I think. Oh, this um, is um. That's Cortez, that's isn't it? Yeah, he's Cortez. The gay car driver. C for Cortez. Maybe yeah. he's not bad. He's not terrible. Ah, he's a dude. He's like a more tolerable Joker. Um, <laughs> yeah. Is he um? Is he in the first game? He's no, right. he's. he's like, Wait, wait, it, no, wait. Is he is he the car driver or is he the mechanical guy? Like the he's down by the engines. Um, I don't think no. There's like a couple of people in the engine room, and they're both neither of them are that much. I think no, look where he's sitting. I think he's you know. Okay. Yeah, but look at uh, look at the image. Yeah, I know, but they're they like they like all look like that, <laughs> like. Nope, it's not Cortez. <laughs> it's not Cortez. Assuming it Cortez is... Yeah, the, the shuttle pilot. Okay, so this is the engineering okay. guy. Yeah, he was there in the first game. He didn't join in the second one and came back in the third. And, that, and I know that because that's why I remember him. Because that was like his thing. Like he was talking to the doctor about how he, you know, he feels guilty about abandoning the crew of the second like game, essentially. Um, I, I would still say C. I think he's, he's one of those... Um, tertiary a good word i think it is like, maybe even well yeah yeah i mean it's kind of interesting it's probably it's like really it's like what it arguably in the lowest tier of like the normandy crew but that are named you know <laughs> really yeah like he you know he's just someone that you can talk to but once you do it for the first time there's no real reason to I'm, I'm just saying, I feel like C could end up feeling too high. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I think you want to D. Um, I, think, I think you can do a bit better than him. He's not bad, though. It's just... Um, I mean, if he wasn't there, there would be no real loss, really. Right? I think that's an important thing. So we, <laughs> like, we can agree on D. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. Like, D... Um, well, D doesn't mean this, but this character is not, like, a, a bad character. Um, yeah. There's not have much going on. Right, Trainor from Free, so you should be pretty fresh. Uh, Free? Yeah, she, she was. Through. She's the um, she's just the assistant. She's always by yeah. the, the galaxy map. Um, she in, doesn't. In one, isn't what? There's one in the, there's one in the second one, and there's a different one in the third one. Yeah, yeah. this is from this is from Free. I don't remember who it was in two. Okay, well, if it's the third one, then she's pretty solid. Like she she is actually like a character. Um, uh, like she's you... fine. She's a little bit annoying, to be honest. A bit, I, I, I really like like their role, to be honest with you. She's also gay. She's... <laughs> yeah, she's really into Edie, right? Like, yeah. That's, that's like the thing. Like, she really wanted to fuck Edie's voice. Um, yes. Which, um, yeah, which, you know, yeah. there's relatability there at the very least. What? Um... <laughs> um She's not bad. I, I would I would honestly say maybe more B than C. Okay, well, C's... it's C then, because that's... I mean, yeah. I wasn't going to say D, but... Um, yeah, I think C is actually the right place for her. Um, this is good. This is a this is a good... I think we're going at a good pace, actually. Yeah, I do like the assistant role, though. That's very handy. Tells you who to go, like, talk to. And ah, like... I don't care. Right, that's very who is this guy? He's old. He is old. He's from... I feel like he's from a loyalty mission. Um, Hold on. How does image search work? I'm just... Like, think how you do you... Could, you could probably this. grab a photo. I think maybe... Yeah, there it is. Okay, you, can I... You, I think you... Uh, you might have to like, the image. Is that possible? Got All it. All that. You can you can grab it? I don't um, think it's dishonored. Is it is it Conrad Werner? All right, this is this is important research, guys. <laughs> okay, yep, this is a Mass Effect character, Conrad Werner. 
He's a, he's a huge fan of Commander Shepard, apparently. Jeeva Stalker? Yeah, I remember this guy. I I only ever met him once, but it was in my in my in the things. He was like, "Wouldn't it be weird if you bump into him again?" And I never did. <laughs> so like, it was he like, asked yeah, for your autograph. Weird. Isn't he a dick? Probably, yeah. But I think you have to bump into him more than once to really get anywhere. Um, All right. So I apologise for this because we are dealing with two websites that are fucking hogs. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, so well, we can, can still consider um, a ranking. I mean, I don't know. It's, it, it's not like F. He's, he's like, at least he serves a unique purpose. He's like this stalker guy, fan, or something. I guess F, yeah, because we know who he is now, at the very least, right? Um, Wait, what? I, did, I said probably not F. I, I think he's terrible. I only met him, like, once, and it wasn't anything. Like, you might be able to bump into him more, but he sounds like a dick if you do. Yeah, all right, we're actually getting some characters now, some... Um, Aria. Aria T. Loke, I think is her name. The um, leader of Omega. Um, Do you obviously have a whole DLC for her? Uh, I'm not sure if it did more good than bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't remember her changing that much. She, she's a bitch, right? She might, just... might change if you are like, nicer, maybe. But I basically played along. Because I wanted to be more renegade than not that. I still ended up being plenty the hero, whatever the other one was. Paragon, but... is it? Is it Paragon? I think it's yeah, Paragon. Um, but whenever it came to like conversation choices, I'd go for the more renegade ones, which often ended up agreeing with her. Um, she's not bad. She's not bad at all. She's, she's decent. She's quite good. Um, I think probably B. I think, I think she maybe. represents some good parts. Like Omega's a pretty cool place. Um, yeah, and, things like and that. she had a, an entire DLC which kind of, um, you know, does things. She's probably it, it the, the backstory. Um, second m most important Asari, maybe? Could be joint with Liara's mum. Damn it, I forgot the joke where, where I meant to say, like, I meant to say, like, you know, tits, and then, sorry, no, Mitriar Benesia. <laughs> 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 Maybe we should try and not be too misogynistic, though. Um, we can try, but it is Mass Effect. Yeah, Admiral I mean, Hackett. Is... Admiral Hackett. He's a pretty cool guy. I have no right with Admiral Hackett. He's not bad. Like... He's a good. He's a good, like you know, military leader guy. He's not like an arsehole. Yeah. He's not like ignorant. Um, he's got a nice, decent voice. Well, very soft voice. Um. He was like a, a named character that you would hear, like you would get some quests for in like the first and second game, but in the third game, he is like the main guy. Really. I did notice like, that because obviously my I, I had more experience with three than the others, but I and I realised that he's not really in one too much at all. But yeah, he's still I didn't quite really good. Did, like, most of it, and then in the third game, I realised oh he's like the head of like the alliance's military, right? That's his. That's who he is. Yeah, uh, I like I like Hackett. He's not bad at all. Hackett's Definitely, yeah, Pretty cool B. guy. Yeah, I think B's perfect for him, actually. I don't think a character that isn't really a crew member can get much higher than B. Well, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know, actually. I can't I can't think of anyone who would be higher, but I'm not going to say yeah. I'm not going to say that. So take it back. All right. If those two are in B, then also, that's, that's just... also, maybe at the end, we should probably image search her. <laughs> should probably... Maybe. Yeah. All right. Is it Eva? Eve. 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 Yeah. Um, Technically, it's like some other name. She does eventually tell you her name. The uh, female Krogan. I, 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 think, I, I don't remember there being any others. I certainly know of her named ones, but I don't remember hearing any others either, like, voiced at all. She's, like, the only one, right? She's also... She's one of the, like, priests. I don't think they're actually, like, called priests, but, um, like, they're pretty cool. Um, they're, with, like... You know what they are? They I don't, do, like, I don't remember. Walls. Like, they're, like... Basically, they have to like live a certain way to embody everything um, it does. Like they represent like the race, um, and they're basically Chad's. Like he's the guy who, um, not obviously her, but the same kind of type of Krogan is the one that does the ritual to make like grunt an actual member. Like they're kind of the um, not heads, but like spiritual heads will go with of the Krogan, yeah. and she's the female version of that. Well, um, I don't know Eve's pretty cool. I think I should like yeah, her quite a bit. Yeah, I think I think 
Um, I think you can only really give her a C, although she does go pretty hard. She's not um, bad. I mean, I like her more than Trainer. Maybe, yeah, she doesn't have as much presence uh, in the Usaria or Hackett, though. Maybe, yeah. hmm. Yeah, she's, she's just, there for she's a just time, but it's a pretty good impression. It's not um, a bad impression. All right, maybe C's correct. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I'm not too certain about that, but I don't feel I think, I think too strong I, I either. Is I, I was kind of sad when she had to go. Um, Aww. She was cool. Rogan woman. What's there not? There, what's there not to like? Yeah, and she's not badly written either. Like it's not like um, it's not like a letdown. It's not like she's not like annoying in any way. It's not. It's not written weirdly as her being like the only woman. It's not like a really. There's no weird messaging or anything like that. It's actually she's actually very well written. I think I think B is better than anything else. I mean it's more appropriate than C, personally. Um Bailey, my boy, um, General Tullius. You notice that? I No, I I General Tullius is the head of the thingies, right? Yeah. I, I never really did them. Oh, like I like ba Bailey's okay. Bailey's fine. I think C is actually immediately perfect for him. He's um consistent, like, character throughout it. He's not always on Shepard's side. Sometimes he has to do things, like, sort of against him just because of his job, I think. But they're also clearly, like, friends as well. And he's, like, he's, like, a pretty common, like, character who's, but he's never on the Normandy. He's stuck stuck on the Citadel. But if you if you go on the Citadel, more often than not, you'll bump into Bailey. Like the mission will have to you go like, talk to him or something, um, or you would just go talk to him. I mean, I'm going to make a claim now. I reckon most of the the best human characters are probably not the crew members. Overall, yeah. Overall, yeah. I I, I think that's fair. Because um, I think with, with all these like kind of like you know not crew member characters, they can't really get that bad either, right? Like they're they're all fairly solid. Um, well, Bailey's pretty common. Like he's he's like he's in it a fair bit actually. Um, so I don't really know exactly where to put him. He's not like I think he, he's not jumping up into B for me. So C is probably the right place, but still good. I think really yeah. net positive. Bailey's presence. Um, okay. He's chill. This idiot. <laughs> he, he got. I I've only met him once. And he got his ass beat by a dying um, old, um, what they called Krell. I don't. Um, yeah, it's Krell. It's well done, well done. I would not expect you to get that alien species name at all. That's the last one I'd expect you to get. <laughs> anyway, I don't remember his name. It's some um, Chinese. Yeah. It's like Tai Long. <laughs> <laughs> tai Long is it? Oh god, did you notice? Um, you wouldn't have done. You might have done. Well. Something that was cool about the One Piece series is, well, I don't. The, the, the narrator is literally just like the first. It's like literally just the intro, but that's Ian McShane. Did you notice Tai Lung? Oh, I didn't know. Very start. I thought that's kind of based. <laughs> um, that was a good first impression. But yeah, this guy. I don't think you're actually meant to like him that much. I think he is supposed to be a bit of a deliberate, bit of a shallow edge lord character. Yeah. Um, yeah. His presence is fine. It's sort of like an antagonistic force. But it does stop there. Um, I I mean, he, uh, even D is I think pretty generous. Yeah, but he's I mean, not like a, he's not like a he's not a negative fool in my opinion. He's not like yeah. a, a annoying. I mean, he did kill um, Aang, which is less than great. I don't appreciate that. Um, but then again, I don't think I would have cared about Thane dying if it wasn't for Thane fighting him. Um, I think that fight scene went hard. Um, so, yeah. It goes also, I want to point out this guy doesn't look like Conrad Vernon. <laughs> um, no, I think he might get older. Um, or something. Can't get that much older. Whatever. He is Conrad Vernon for these for the purpose of this list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, you can stay there. Who cares? All right. Okay, um, this is, I believe... That's Cortez, right? No, that's not Cortez. Isn't that... Is that... Thanks. Presley? He's only in the... I think he's only in the first game. Pretty sure. Um, I... It doesn't ring a bell, like, at all. Hold on. Really? Seriously, this is fine. 
<laughs> it's so slow. Making my laptop so slow. Wow. Close the fucking tab. Which tab? The other one, the Conrad Werner one. Yeah, I'm trying to. It's not showing. It's not doing anything. This is why you should. Right, hold on, sorry. We just established who Presley is. Um, he's nothing, really. He's actually he's actually a racist. He's a xenophobe, and that's kind of it. I like, actually. No. No, I think he, um, and uh, I don't blame you for not knowing this, but if he is who I think it is, when the Normandy crashes, you can find a document, which is basically, it has like three logs from Presley, and it basically, he, by the end, he says that he like hates himself for being such a racist. Like, he trusts like all the members of the crew just as much as anyone else. Um, oh, what? And, like, I do, me I do yeah. remember that. I do remember that. He has a bit of a redemption arc in a note in the crash, which you can easily miss. Um... That's uh, nice, but he's still not an impactful character um, at all. No, I, I never really interact with him more than just like, hey, I can talk to this person. In, in my oh, opinion, no probably the most obscure crew member um, like, of like, the Normandy. Yeah. So, oh well. It doesn't help that in the first game, I really didn't talk to anyone. I just didn't feel like doing that much. Um, anyway. Yeah. Just, just put him up, get him an S. Just hurry it up. Mordin Solus. The Giga Chad, Salarian. Harry likes him more than I do. Doesn't mean I don't love him. <laughs> like... He's awesome. I think he is my favourite character, actually. Um, yeah, and I think a very common take, I would imagine as well. Um, he's just absolutely incredible. Like pretty much everything about him, his, his personality is awesome, and he's got my favourite arc as well for any of the characters. Um, so it's just an easy S tier, maybe the easiest one. Aww crew member i think is worth mentioning um so at the oh game, yeah pretty he's strong. actually the first squad mate what do you mean um yeah, that's that we should refer to them yeah and he's just up there i didn't bring him in every mission actually that's not how i operate for some reason i just bring garris all the time and then someone else but morden was a frequent um squad mate and i would talk to him pretty much every chance i got because it's great man he, he that, that was my thing this is what i mentioned about like um, in in the second game, I did talk to everyone like constantly. Between every mission, I would like to check with everyone on the crew. Morden always had something to say. He always had some new thing to talk about, which just made him better and better and better. Um, which is why I think generally I prefer him in the second game because um, he's just there's a lot more to him there. Um, but obviously in the third game, I think I don't think we should need spoiler warning like. If you're watching this, you would have played all three games. But uh, spoiler warning: he does die. He sacrifices himself. Um, which, yeah, uh, that's that's like not avoidable, right? That's like uh, you have to cure the uh, the Cronin. Well, uh, depending on how things go. Well, well, obviously, if he dies in two, it's actually someone else. It's like his nephew, right. I think, and he's actually fine as well. He mentions that, and he talks about how he messaged his nephew. Um, like before he was going on the suicide mission. Yeah, I think you. Yeah, and I think you meet him in two. I think no, I think you meet him in three the same way that you like re meet Morden. Morden, I think he's just doing the same thing because he's just following up his uncle's work basically. Um, so. Yeah, but ain't, ain't no one letting Morden die in the in the suicide mission. Ain't ain't anyone letting every anyone die. Like I think this is where I'm gonna plug my clout. First time to like try have no idea how, but no one died. Hold on, did the you get an achievement for that? I did, yeah. And did it tell it, you, it like, was... the, the, the rate of, like, getting it? Yeah, yeah. 13% of players. Oh, that's not, that, that... that's not low, is it? That's not low. Yeah. I genuinely think a solid amount of those people probably went back and did it again. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, you just have to do it at all. But this is literally, I just raw dog first try. I beg your pardon. Um, and it's just, I knew that it was going to happen because Harry told me about it, that it was, like, a suicide mission coming up. Um... I was really fucking stressed, and everyone survived, and I'm so hyped. Yeah, um, all right. Well, there's not much more to say, but Morden, he's just a solid S. All right, quick, pretty quick downgrade. Um, yeah, I've forgotten um, her name, actually. Uh, uh, she's some basic name. But um, she's the reporter who joins the Normandy. It's like, yeah. I don't know, you can't more reporter. Like, any time, I think, can't you? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I yeah. <laughs> Which uh, I don't do because it seems like she gets you some fair amount of troops just by like doing those interviews. Um, 
every time I do an interview, I end up getting some like a new fleet of something. Um, so it's worth the weirdness that she is. Hmm. I don't like her. Yeah, I don't always put her. Well, obviously, it's like you know, we're capping at sea. you're capping at sea, madam. You're not going high in sea. I don't know I, exactly. I, I'm going to bring it down one because, and this is this is a bad reasoning, which is quite weird. Um, for some reason, in Mass Effect Three, there is like nipple dents in people's clothing. Hers is very prominent, and it weirds me out. That so, is but, that yeah. is weird because that brings her up for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I don't care. Well, she can be in D. That's perfectly fine. I, I, I think um, she's actually. I find it honestly. I find her less annoying than Trainer, to be honest. But um, oh well, I don't care about her. That's fine. <laughs> um, this is. <sighs> I barely remember actually. Um, <laughs> she's must be one of the human counselors, although. For being honest, even I recognise her, I don't remember her enough to be to bother. Yeah, so just... I think it's probably the best place to put her. Oh no, she's not a counsellor, she's someone else. I we'll have to come back, but I think we'll just put press on for now. Pressly on. Um <clears throat> Oh look, it's Cortez. Yay! He looks pretty scuffed in that picture. Um, Does he? Yeah. yeah he looks really low poly, like not the third game, which is where the only one I thought he was in. Um, nope. But he's fine. I think he's he's got a solid amount of character. Does to he him die he... in? Oh no, shit. Um, I don't remember. I didn't say it's anything. You call me, right? <laughs> well, I mean, how much do you care? <laughs> Uh, Cortez is fate. Of course. Not really, but like in how he would die, I assume that would spoil some of the future plot. But uh, yeah, I mean, he, he's definitely supposed to have some sort of character like you are supposed to care. I know when you talk to him, he's like grieving over the loss of his husband or something, and you have, you can like give him time off to go to the Citadel or something. He's not bad. I think he's up there for Normandy crew, like who aren't squad mates. I think he's probably at least C, but maybe just C. Um, talk to him fairly re fairly commonly because he drives the shuttle that you go in fairly commonly. So like, well, he always basically... does. That's his that's his job. He's the shuttle yeah, pilot. Exactly. Um, um, so like, he's basically like always there whenever you're like starting a mission. So you you talk to him fairly often, which is always good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, it's solid. Solid C. Saren, aka the first game's villain, and that's it. That's his entire purpose, which is fine. Um, Sparren. All right. I thought you said Sparren for some reason. Sparren. Yeah. yeah Saren. I, I I find it weird because I genuinely thought that he wasn't actually under its control and that he genuinely thought the right thing. But like everything the game like says, like all of the speech things when you're talking to him and on like his character description in the menu is like he's brainwashed and he doesn't know it. <laughs> like I thought he genuinely wasn't brainwashed and just actually thought the Reapers were a good idea, but it does seem like he was just a puppet who thought that he wasn't. Um, yeah, which I don't which think is... is particularly. I think that's worse than him believing it. Um, I think it'd be yeah. far more interesting if he actually believed yeah. in what the Reapers like are meant to do. Like clearly, the Reapers don't give a shit. Like you can't play along with them. But if he's just a puppet, then he's kind of empty. Um, he seems like he was a dick even before then, though. Like with the thing that he did with like um, Anders Anderson, like he like, just blew up a bunch of people for like to distract um, some shit. He's already a dick going into it. It seems he's not great, really. Like yeah, I think considering he's like you know the first villain, you want to rate him villain wise. So he's actually not that bad. Well, actually, because like, like, obviously, overall, the main antagonist is a bit of a, um, an, like, an amalgus force, yeah. really. Not a particular... Like, he's probably the most not poignant villain character. Yeah, the Harbinger, which was, you know, the second one's one, is pretty terrible. <laughs> I think the Harbinger is just the Reaper possessing the, the main collector guy as well, even then. Um, so, 
I think Varen's not that bad. Well, I mean, the main the main like villain is we'll, we'll get to him actually. I forgot about elusive man. I forgot. About... <laughs> but, but he kind of is yes. really, especially yeah, because he. Like all villains really. Um, but yeah, he's not great, not the worst though. But yeah, probably. Well, hold on, it, it, it's like Davy Jones, isn't it? If you if you think of um the Reapers as like the uh the Navy in Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Um, bear with me. Um. Saren, Saren is Barbosa if he doesn't come back, um, right? Because he's just the villain of the first entry, and then the next two share the elusive man slash Davy Jones, but also have the force of the Navy in the background. That being the Reapers. <laughs> I would change that because, <laughs> like Farron, Barbosa didn't work with the Navy, did he? At least then he wasn't working. No, for Barbosa the Navy. never did. And yeah, Lucy's man wasn't exactly. working with the Reapers in two, but then he is working with them in three. Actually, like, David Jones well, isn't working with the Navy in two, but he is in three. So he's he... working. I oh, forget I said that then. Forget I said that then. It makes more sense now, in all fairness. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna ditch the analogy to wrap this up. But yeah, yeah, he's. He, you needed an actual person to chase after in the first game. You couldn't go out the bat fight this like nebulous force, really, could you? Like that would have been a pretty bad first game. Um, you needed someone to take down, and he did a pretty good job of that. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, I've not really thought of him much moving forward. Like, like him dying hasn't really done anything. It's not really. Well, she's a very, thing. very functional character, and he kind of just serves the purpose and then is forgotten. Actual, actual person, an actual en enemy and antagonist in the first game, and he served that purpose. Yeah, um, he's not important to the overall story, though. He's literally just the guy you chase. Or, or technically, he's like the, oh. know, the ignition. Well, look who he is. Good old yeah. um, first name Elusive, last name Man. That's what's on his birth certificate. I <laughs> I burst out laughing when I found out that was actually his name. Um, like, because like I thought that it because when obviously when the second game starts, it has elusive man, and I thought that was just it being like like he is an elusive man, like describing him, and we'll learn his name later. And then I realised that they address him as the elusive man, and I I I laughed audibly. Um, uh huh. And he's never recovered from that. I have never stopped finding him so fucking. Goofy. <laughs> he is kind of goofy. He is kind of. He's a bit of a goofy villain. I like him a lot, though. I like the elusive man. Um, I, I would be tempted to try and put him in A, but I, I don't know if I believe that. In my opinion, he's at very least a B. I think he's actually a pretty strong character. I like he's, him. A he's lot. pretty cool in the you know like. Um, with the way the second and third game works, obviously, apparently, working with the Reapers, but even then, without that, like, um, the first game and the second game, he's, like, the same character, but he goes from being, like, your strongest supporter to, like, your absolute, like, worst enemy, essentially, just because you're fighting a different battle, or the same battle, but just different sides, and it's pretty cool. Um, he is the embodiment of, like, Cerberus, and it's kind of interesting. Um, but, um, I don't know, he's fine. I think, like, it kind of annoys me. Um, hmm. I like, just ignored him, really. <laughs> like most of the second game, like as soon as he he came over the fucking radio and he was like, "Yeah, let's take that that, that collector base," I, I, I immediately was like, "Fuck no! This is clearly the wrong choice, right? Like this is like he's been." Tolerable, if slightly trying to kill me and put me into traps this whole time, but this is clearly the wrong choice. Supporting him is a bad idea, um, and I think I was right uh, in that he's a bit of a cunt in the third game. Um, All right, yeah, I think I need to. I think I need to feel it a bit more to put him in A. I'm not actually feeling in A, but um, good antagonist at the very least. I like him. I like his voice. Good design. A guy for a human. Um, dog. Dog, you can pet. S tier. Dog, you can pet. S tier. All right, good, brilliant. Um, this bitch from the Citadel DLC. F tier. F tier. F tier. F -tier. F -tier. All right. Fucking shot her. Fucking shot her. Let's go. Let's go. I wonder if that's been picked up. Hold on. The 
A vehicle. Helicopter. Vehicle? She's approaching. Yeah, she was, um... I don't know. I annoying from the beginning. She's a, yeah, annoying. she's annoying, and then she sort of betrays you kind of out of nowhere? The thing is, it didn't feel well set up, but it also didn't surprise me. But it also... <laughs> Yeah, well, it was literally, it was as soon as everyone else went silent and she was the only one left talking, I knew, oh, okay, she's leading me into a trap. Like, like, like I never thought of it in, at all until before then, but it, it immediately became, like, obvious. The second it was like she was the only one left. Um, but then, yeah, she betrays you and it's a whole thing. I don't remember her name either. I don't... Brooks, because I just, I literally just did it. Um, right, fair enough. But yeah, and then uh, like at the end, like um, you actually like, you like arrest her, and then she slips out of her cups and sit like cuffs, and like she's like yeah, you you can never get me or like some stupid shit like that. And then a renegade option appeared, and I'm like yes, <laughs> yeah. I think I did that as well. Put out the gun and fucking shoot her dead. I'm like oh my god, that felt so good. I hated her so much. All right, we've got um anomalous force. Uh. Is Yeah, still don't know what that is. I mean, it could be the Harbinger. Is that is he actually on there? The Harbinger. Yeah, the second villain, like the collector hive mind that keeps like possessing. Is, is that supposed to be the Harbinger in this case? Because it's just a. Could be yeah. Just a collector. I just realised the thing next to it is a Reaper. I couldn't tell what that was. Earlier. I wonder if this. I think that's probably Sovereign, right, from the first game, the one that actually oh, talks. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I, 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 I don't see there being any connection between that and, and that. They're not the same at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what are we supposed well, to do with this? So, who is it? That <laughs> thing is... in um, is it that thing in like the fucking? Oh, yeah, I haven't got to that part yet. I don't know what it is really. Um, run. Oh, like yeah, I, I would, I, I would say eight here. Um. The, the, I already liked him because basically my crew Tally and Krogan right that's that's how I <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit strange that's um, a bit weird it's like um, that makes no don't worry <laughs> no it, it's fairly fairly obvious I like Tally I wanted her to be near and I find Krogan's badass and so I wanted them to be there as well Krogan's um, are pretty cool and... they're like the brutes of Mass Effect much like the yeah, Turians um, are the elites. Yeah, and like Grunt, I think, is perfectly solid during the first, like, or oh, the second game, the first time he was there, right? Like, he's, he's he's pretty good. I think you'd agree with that, right? Yeah, I like Grunt a lot. I, I'm, I'm a big Grunt fan. Um, yeah. Straight up. And I think, I, I mean, obviously, I already put him in my crew all the time. But uh, do you remember the Rachmi mission in, in the third game? Yeah, Actually, I have pretty strong memories of that one. Like even like for, uh, since I played it for the first time, like years years ago, I remember that quite yeah. strongly. That's a cool segment. How he, he essentially sacrifices himself, and I'm there shitting myself, like, no, please God, no, Grunt, no, please God, no. Um, and then like I'm like actually like mourning the loss of one of my favorite characters, and then he fucking comes out of there covered in blood, like, what's good? And honestly, love Grunt. <laughs> like, love Grunt. Love Grunt. So I mean, I'm happy to put him in A, but also there's another Krogan that might I might classify as above him. Um, uh, yeah. That, all right. Like, Samara. Uh, Samara. The Samara. other Asari. Well, actually, there's there's three Asari squad mates, and so technically, um, she is the other. Yeah, yeah. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Right. Uh, and you haven't. You're not gonna like run into her. Don't worry. You're not. Gonna, I'll exp it was. It, I'll explain. But yeah, Samara is what are they call again. Just 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 the cars. Yeah, just the cars. Um, and she's. Fine. What another character you you cannot um, have sex with? <laughs> she's introduced really late. She says she's one of the... she says no. <laughs> she says no. You're not allowed. You're not. Allowed. <laughs> um. Yeah. I think um, her she... mission is better than her character personally. I'm I'm annoyed that I failed this the tort check. Did you fail that? Yeah, I I went back though. I, I just reset. Well, it's, the same, it's the same result, um, but hey, what are you want about? Like when you're getting seduced by a daughter, 
Like, there's the options to basically, like, Sigma, where you can pick, like, you know, either that, um, good boy or bad boy. And either way, you're basically like, you're, that's not working on me. But I failed both of the checks, so I had to go with the basic bitch option where I do succumb. Not that anything occurs. She busts in either way, but annoyed me. Yeah, yeah Samara's fine. Samara's fine. Voiced by Billie Eilish's mother. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> crazy fact to just know. Yeah, well, it's a crazy fact. That's why I know it. It's like, I, li I literally saw someone on Twitter recently. It's like, this is your, your yearly reminder of this fact. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's very bizarre, though. I think this is a square C. I don't know. Maybe. Mm, I don't know. I'm pretty Wait, lukewarm on her. You haven't seen her? You haven't seen her yet? No. He is in free. Like uh, yeah. Well, because because as mentioned, like her and Thane were introduced, and Legion were introduced at like the very end of two. Like you could easily get them and then immediately go on the suicide mission. I yeah, did their trust that's, quest then, but that's interesting because like, I remember Thane being much earlier because Thane's on the like the front cover of the game. Um, actually, because he's like the I guess because he's like meant to be like the main new alien character so they put him on there to like be a, you know yeah, otherwise he'll just be free the... humans yeah. oh yeah, it's the drill isn't it not the krell you said krell earlier and i commended you or say like remembering but... oh, you said krell. i you corrected said... you to krell. i don't remember you correcting me so it probably didn't happen um all right we'll see if hey, we just to move on this just keeps uh, i think you're okay with samara and c oh yeah oh uh, yeah she's she's mid at best Legion! Oh yeah, love I, Legion. I, I've not, I've no opinions on him. He was the last character to get on this thing. His mission gave me no real takes. He is just a guest guy. Um, so I'll, I'm leaving it on your hands. Um, All right. Hey, Legion's pretty cool. He's actually, uh, yeah, he doesn't get a lot of like time in either game that he's in. To be fair, um, but it's well utilized and like. He's just got a decent amount of depth for a character who, by his personality, doesn't have depth because he's obviously a very monotone. He's a robot, but yeah, but he's got like billions and billions of like entities in one, right? Yeah, he's really cool, and he represents a lot of cool story points as well. And one of the big, biggest decisions as well in the game, it's like very difficult. Um, actually, although I'm actually, I think B's probably better for him actually. Um. And I, I, you're not going to fight me on that, at least. Yeah, I think if he had more screen time, it, I, well, I'd have something to say, first of all, but I assume you'd probably put him higher. Um, yep, uh, Legion's pretty cool. Um, that's kind of it, though. Pretty cool. Like, assume me. Pretty cool. Not bad. Considering she's one of the first ones, like, you do a trust quest and that's it. Yeah, she doesn't have right. much interaction after that. She's even, um, her and uh, someone else, Saeed, I think it was, like, you don't even talk to. There's no menu. You, d you can't communicate with them. You just talk to them, and then they have some, like, single line about, like, current events. Like, oh, person on crew did this, or something like that. Like, that's, that's the only way you talk to them. They're, like, filler characters, it feels. I think she's, I do think she's actually kind of up there in human squad mates, but it's not that high up there in general i think she's slightly better than samara but maybe still she's just c i think she's a good character in c though yeah. her trust quest is nice i like her trust quest um like the, the heist essentially it's yep. pretty cool pretty cool um, it's pretty cool but um also in the third game obviously she um she has a little side quest where you can then get her wouldn't know got, got a kill <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so you got this little side quest where you basically um you know the tentacle creatures that um are like the hannah the, yeah and the kindling which is the protheans when they realized that the protheans were essentially working for the reapers anyone that believed in the enkindlers then became reaper followers essentially and you have to stop one of them from basically turning off the defenses of their entire planet um and she's like goes along with that quest for you and by the time you finish that she then technically doesn't join your squad but is like you know the numbers in the thing 
Um, but that, that side quest was pretty cool. Plus, I invited her to the party in the DLC, and she essentially just went invisible and fucked with people the whole time. And then eventually you'd catch her, like she's rummaging through your underwear, and you're like, hey, what are you, what are you up to? And she's like, oh, I'm, I'm checking your underwear. They're pretty good. I'm like, and you're like, thanks. What the <laughs> hell? That is really weird. Right. Yeah, she's odd. Better, I, better I, keep I her alive next time. Yeah, well, okay, I mean... Maybe. I, considering she's not much, she's pretty good and consistent. Um, yeah, I actually think like, she's, um, I think she's pretty well, like, literally her only problem is not having much interaction. Really. Yeah, like, she's really not a squad mate. I think like, everything else about her is minimum, good, so... Bare minimum a squad mate would have to be is what she is, but she's still pretty solid otherwise. Yeah, alright. <laughs> it's your favourite character, Jacob. Favourite? Best human, though, for sure. Oh, uh, shit. He, <laughs> he's a dude. He's just a fella. Exactly. Uh, he's just a guy. That's it. But we got just a guy, and he's cooler than Jacob, and he's not human, isn't he? I guess. But I don't I don't like that other one. I, pr I would prefer Jacob over... Um, one you're on about which we'll get to which i assume is going to be fun um he's still not great you know he is he's a human character after all so <laughs> because i know other ones are going to go lower <laughs> like, i actually i don't dislike jacob though i don't dislike him actually i shouldn't because that is just not true he's fine um i don't like him either um i think he's neutral so c c is good c is good ED. ED. I guess this is ED overall, but obviously this is ED in her body, but still, ED overall. I I think A. I'm sorry, but like, considering she only uh, appeared in the second game, she feels like she's been there the whole time. Oh, right, like, I'll, I'll be, um, fair. Uh, ED's like. What's wrong with ED? There's nothing. No, that's really what I was about to right? say. I mean, ED's actually interesting and not annoying. Like a, an AI, yeah. like robot voice character. Like, since um, in this third game, there might not even be a Krogan teammate. If there is, I haven't found him yet. Um, and I haven't met Tally yet. Evie has been my my backup. She's 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 done me pretty. What well do you mean? There's, what do you mean? No Krogan teammates. James. <laughs> well, yeah. So that so just so we're clear on this, there actually isn't. Am I right in saying that? Yeah. Like there isn't. Wait, is there? Well, isn't isn't Rex like he's he is your squad mate during the Citadel DLC, right? Yeah, you can you can yeah you can play with him in the in the DLC and in the shooting range that the DLC has, you can have um, Rex and Grunt as your teammates. But uh, did you have both of them by any chance? Did you choose both of them at one point? I I I played the shooting range, got both of them, but then didn't, didn't go back into the shooting range because it's a waste of fucking time. Like, I was, I was already running on hot air playing the game. I'm not doing an arcade mode. <laughs> like, um, but basically, yeah, I don't know. I think I think Evie's solid. She often has a lot of very interesting things to say. Um, just just, just a lot of the time, really. The um, only kind of weird thing about it is how her and Joker have, like, a thing going, uh, which is kind of weird. And kind of annoying. I think it's, it's, it's weirder for Joker. Like, it's... It, I think it actually is, um beneficial to Edie's character, actually. Um, personally. Yeah, because it is kind of a thing that, you know, she is like an AI, and AIs are kind of illegal most of the time, right? Like, that's kind of a thing. Um, yeah. AIs are scary, and they can do some serious damage. So you basically just have to, like, keep hoping that Edie isn't, doesn't go bad. Um, which I think you kind of like, like diverse, not in any proper capacity, but like, um, you just talk to her at some point, and she's like, she's been looking at a bunch of like Reaper ships or some shit, like Reapers' behaviors, because um, they're like similar to her, and you're like, don't do that, <laughs> don't don't do that, like study study good people, do not study Reapers, um, and she's like, okay, so, I don't know, she's pretty solid. All right, solid. well, I personally wasn't gonna, I personally would not put her in A, I would, it would be B easily, and I'm also, but I'm not against it either. Um, I don't really have any problems with her. I mean, I think it's a bit strange. I really don't like her enough for her to be in the top range of characters for me. But whatever, I mean, I'll give you it don't to have you. To. It's fine. Yeah. 
No, 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 no. I think would cause her to go down. I think she should there... stay there for now. But I think the issue with everyone in B is they're probably just as good as characters as Edie, but they're not there enough, right? But Edie is there enough, is how I see it. Um, mm. And I'll give her that she's, she's also very... probably not there too much either. That's the thing. You can stay in A. Fine. <laughs> all right, the Doctor. I actually forgot her name. Annoying, but she's she's all right. She's good. She's the best of those crew members for sure. So I would say B. Like so, she's above. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, I like the Doctor quite a bit. She's chill as hell. I think you can kill her off in the second one technically, like if you don't save them. Um, but you would do that. Um, so you know she could be there for the whole ride. Um, yeah, she's solid. It's kind of it's just, not it's not much. There's not much, really. Yeah. Have, like, she has like, essentially no personality, but, like, she's just kind of there. She's a bit of a rock, really. Yeah. Councillor Udina. Um, motherfucker. I hated him from the beginning. It's a bit like Brooks, actually. You get to punch him. I, him. I, I punched him, yeah. Um, and then, and then eventually, I got to kill him. Yay! S tier for satisfaction of killing him. Yeah. No. Um. He's meant to be an annoying bastard. Which he succeeds that goal very well, but that I, I don't know what we're ra ranking them. Well, on. how much we like them, really? Both kind of yeah, like how just... how good they are, but also how much we like them. And if you hate him, that means he goes low. And yeah. I hate him. Um, yeah. I fuck him. <laughs> like he sucks. Um. They. He's he's a salty bitch like the whole time, um, and he barely he does like the bare minimum to help you in the first game, um, and so I then put like Anderson in charge because fuck Udina. Woo, I, I'd be surprised if anyone put Udina in charge. Uh, yeah. The council. Oh fuck's sake! Okay, it's the Aura. Um. <laughs> you go first because you probably like him more than I do. Since I think you fuck all the time, don't you? Um, I beg your pardon. I think you fuck all the time, don't you? I beg your pardon. The only um <laughs> the only Asari of eyebrows. The... Oh, you can't be saying stuff like that, hey. Just because you're right doesn't mean you're allowed to say it. But is that even true? Yes, it is true. Alright. Because she probably draws them on. I mean, uh... um, Arya like the like tattoo eyebrows. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like for a lot of people, the R would probably be an automatic A, but frankly, that's not actually how highly I view a character. Um, I don't view a character that highly. She's pretty, she is well fleshed out, obviously, because she's like, um, probably she just feels like the dev's like favorite character for some reason. That's how she comes yeah, off. And in love interest, right? Pretty like much, that. yeah. Tell it whenever they're talking to each other. Like, if I didn't have a say in it, you could just tell they'd be kissing, like, all the time. I have to fight off all the fucking, like, um, like, speech things. I just want them to, like, yeah, kiss. Yeah, and that's not inherently compelling, oh. is it? So... Yeah. But I also think I, she's, I, she's too well-developed to be low, as well, really. No. I think B is actually... A lot of people would go higher, and a lot of people would also go lower. I get the feeling, to be honest. I get Yeah. The, yeah. But if this is the, this is the balance between if it was purely by if we like them or not, she'd be lower. But if it's purely on how good the character actually is, like how well developed and all that stuff, um, then it, she would probably be higher. Um, and if you were a horny bastard, uh, it would probably be higher as well. But uh, no, nah, that ain't it. You just ain't it. Um, wait, what? Is this just? Is this just female shepherd? <laughs> I'm is confused. It? Is it though? Is it is male shepherd here as well? Is, is that is it, okay? I think this is female shepherd. Oh, you. Um. Uh. I hate myself. What are you so... supposed? How the hell are you supposed to rank your the player character? Well, I mean, I shep I well no, shepherd. shepherd is. Well, first of all, they're going to be in the, first of all they're they're going to be in the same tier, right? Or well, I think it's yeah. automatic. So. Um. <laughs> Shepard, well, the issue is, is that Shepard, like, it was obviously very, very similar because it's, like, the same character, but you can probably get a, a fairly different Shepard, right? Like, you can get a Shepard that will kill on sight 
is like you know a renegade, um, or you can get the you know pussy ass shepherd. Um, so I don't know. He needs to playable character. He's not supposed to have much that isn't you, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> they can't have that much character, or it's not like you can't insert yourself into them, right? And that's I beg your pardon. The point of playing games. I think it's very odd that they're there. Um, I mean, the, I kind of don't feel like ranking them. Yeah, fuck them. Why would you? That's not even like a who. It's just down there. Right, okay, this is the third Asari squad mate. Samara's daughter. Wait, right. Did you know that you could? that was even possible? No. You can, I, yeah, you can kill Samara in that quest, in that mission, and her daughter takes over. Oh. I don't have the authority to speak on her character, though, because um, I haven't played with her. As, I haven't played with her being there instead of Samara. So. Uh, I think I, have, I remember the choice, but, like, who the hell is going to do that? It, it's literally just, I guess, if you're into, like, I wouldn't even say goth because he's not inherently goth. If you're just like, a, a, a weirdo, you um, like you like um, mentally unstable women. Yeah, which I think if you, that's the case, there's a better choice coming up at uh, some point. Okay, but... you're the average male. Yeah, and it's specifically um... proven they enjoy whatever. <laughs> um, I think we should probably be as high as Samara at the very least, right? Frankly, we should probably put no because I don't think we have the authority. So we should probably just have her in the same tier. No, we met her. We can go off our experience with her. Yeah, and she I think it's very interesting that you can choose to have a like morally ambiguous to be even bad character as a squad mate. Yeah. It, well, I think it's more just, just choosing between the two is pretty interesting. Um, but none of the other ones are really like that, really. Um, just kind of get who you're with or they die. <laughs> it's really good choices. Um, also, I just need to make sure this is actually that character. Not some other. Well, there aren't any other Asaris apart from whoever that is. Um, that is a weird-looking creature. <laughs> an Asari. So smooth though. I, I, so what? We're going to put in your D, are we? Like from the very, very short time we do talk to her, she's nothing special. Like, there's a reason why we have never kept her on the. You know, never chose her over the other one. Fine. <laughs> Well, voice alone. Hey, David. Yeah, instant A, easy A. Look at him. Hell yeah. Gaze upon the visage of the voice in your head. If I could choose to have any voice in my head as the voice in my head, Keith David. Such a grin as well. Such a beautiful man. I mean,. I, it's difficult not putting him in S, but I'm not sure he, he he's has not a... he's not an S tier character. He's not like a no. a hugely developed character either, but he's pretty like he's got a little he's pretty bit of a thing going. He's pretty streamlined, as in I think he's literally just like a small but potent bundle of just good attributes, and nothing else. He's just yeah. a cool character. He's loyal. He's determined. He's all those words, uh, right? Like. I don't know, he's yeah, he's he's solid. He's also he's good throughout, and then in free, where he, obviously you don't see him as much in person, but he's like you know he's like I'm just gonna stay behind and fight on Earth the entire time. It's like yeah. fair enough, mate. And he's got a bit of a romance thing going as well. Yeah. What? You um you when you rescue the children from the the bionic school, biotic school, um the uh, head teacher, I assume. Uh, there is like they used to know each other in the past and they both liked each other but they never actually like did anything about it that's nice um, and so it's implied that you know if they get through this they probably will do something about it um, i don't know how that's gonna end because i've done it yet but yeah um but no he's solid he's a hella solid oh yeah big big solid big solid yeah. man james james vega very solid man very big man uh, I, very, very Gears of War character design. 
slightly grown on me. Slightly. Um, I like him more than Jacob, and I'll say that much. Um, I see. I was. I'm a bit biased. I was exposed to him first, but I. I like him in general. He during the the party in the at, at the same time, Tyler. I don't. I think he probably is going to be in C, right? Yeah. No, I honestly, I think so, that's fine. I. I. I don't really care enough about him to want him lower. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't want him lower. I don't want him higher. Um. Yeah. It's just James. Um, I'm Bonehead. Name James. So that and and yeah. What? One named James. You know someone named James. That's that's basically it. Jamic. J for Jamic. Speaking, speaking of the uh, the party, I invited literally everyone other than Jamic. You piece <laughs> of shit. He's so fun at the party because he's the same as always. <laughs> exactly. And I knew he would be, and so he wasn't fucking invited. I like fuck Javik. Fuck you, Javik's funny. No, no he is not. He's a he's complete a... dickhead, and he's like a, a real anomaly in his existence. He's just like, ah, yeah, yeah, I'm cool, I'm a pro for him, but guess what? I don't know shit, so fuck you. And I love him. He's such a dickhead, and he's such a, he's, he's such a, a he's such a waste of time, and such a, like a spit in the face. But I love him. I love Javik. Yeah. It's like any idea of like what a Protheon would be like just gets completely ruined by him. Like he is such a gaping cunt. I love that um, fact. I love everything about him. Fuck Javik. I hate him. Where would you rate him? Oh, easy F. Wow. Easy F. Um, He's just up there in, in characters that are introduced in free for me, so Oh, there's only like two of them. Like and not including DLC. Well, he is DLC. Oh. <laughs> he's DLC. What? I did tell you that. He is how DLC. Many, how much of the game have I played that isn't just DLC? Not enough. Like, it's 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 um. Warrior thing. The the um. Whatever the other thing is, like the where you have to track down whatever killed a Reaper. We done that like, yet? That I haven't finished it. No. Um. Good. Like the. Citadel and now Javik. Like I must have. What was the base game? Was it literally just curing the genophage and then like whatever the next thing is and an ending? Like was there no content in the game originally? Like all DLC. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> this is a veto. Javik stays in B. That's not a high rating, okay? If it's positive. I grant it is a positive rating, but. I just every, anyone that's listening to this, he is wrong. <laughs> Javik, Javik can suck a fucking fat one. I, I'm so glad I didn't invite him to the party. Anyway, um, so we got the female Turian. Uh, there are two. Oh no, yeah, there are two, but there's only one on this list. So I assume it's the one who is part of that mission. But I don't remember being. The, one. the uh, Omega DLC. Yeah. Yeah. She's fine. She's basically, um, if you wanted to play goody goody with good boy one, um, like instead of the renegade stuff, you'd side with her because she cares about the civilians oh, and that. Well, have you had the moment, this just doesn't involve her, have you had the moment at the bar yet? In It's from the Citadel DLC, it's not part of the Citadel DLC story, but it's part of the, uh, if you go to the bar in like that area, there's a moment with Garrus. I don't think you've experienced that, have you? Uh, probably not. Uh, the bar in the Citadel uh, games was there, and I had to buy like a whole table, a bunch of rounds. Yeah, not that. Uh, that's not part of the Citadel DLC. I mean, the area that you go to in that in that storyline, the area that unlocks like the the uh, that whole big district. Um, like it's like the club. There's like think about it. There's two sort of bar slash club places, aren't there? The bar in the Citadel. There's two of them. Right, the one that you meet Arya sitting on the couch? No. Then I have no idea what you're on about. You have to go there part of the Citadel DLC storyline. Pretty sure. It's like, like follow those it's like follow those lines in the ground. Mm. Mm. Oh the Citadel DLC, yeah. Yeah, 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 I just realised what you were Yeah, it basically yeah. unlocks a whole other, like, half of the Citadel, of, like, locations to go to. 
and one of them is another bar slash club. Yeah. And there is a yeah. moment where you basically get to be Garrus's wingman, basically. Um, <laughs> and it's like the only other... That's the only other female Turian, and she sh shows up. This isn't her, and she's not on the list either. Um, yeah, there was... Because I, I, I think that's that's something that Silver Zero added, wasn't it? Like, just a bunch of, like, character moments. Um, and I, I only did, I think, one there, and it was Grunt. And basically, he got absolutely fucking wasted, and then, like, just caused shit tons of chaos and, like, blew up a car. <laughs> and, like, you had to kind of, like... Like get him out of it essentially. Yep. Just like apologize to the to the coppers. Either way, I don't I don't remember this character's name, but she was fine. Yeah, I mean probably D, realistically. What? Um, she wasn't. Oh, did you say D? Yeah. Like, sure. Not... I don't. Um, okay. All right. Sure. Um. Uh. It's really no idea who that is. Uh, um, uh, um, did you know that is? She... No, he looks odd. What about what about the next one? This guy, um, Victus, isn't it? What is he the uh, the main guy, the head guy? I I assume this is his son. The one is actually oh, in the mission with, with the bomb. Yeah. He was solid. He had no reason to have an arc, but he did. <laughs> like Yeah. I I'm like, fuck it. We're just gonna we're just gonna like create a character that has like an entire arc and then like nobody sacrifices himself. We're just gonna do that for some reason. Um, yeah, and it wasn't completely it wasn't completely un No. Uh it was solid. He like fucked up, got a lot of people killed, and so he just, you know, he tried as hard as he could to make up for it, and that included sacrificing himself. Um, okay. Yeah. No, I think C is fine. He's that was solid. Fine. Um, who? That's the news person, isn't it? Is it? When you get to punch like multiple times. Um, nice. Like one of the times you get to punch her, like you punch her for the first time, I think in two. And then you either come back later in two, or is it in three? You go to punch her again, and she blocks you, and then you just punch her at, like, and like you then I just, just swing for the other. I cannot yeah. believe you punch her every time. Yeah, like, you're like she's fucking a... shepherd, and she's just some woman. She's a she's a bitch. Yeah, but like you don't bitch, just so punch, you punch people her. talking shit. Yeah, you do when there are journalists. <laughs> like that's that's how you do it. She's really great at being a horrible, prying, horrible person, journalist, person. Kind of twist words and shit, like... Yeah. Just, just fuck her, punch Pretty her. well written. And, and you can do it again, and she blocks you, thinking she's got you. She started talking shit, like, ha, I get, and then you punch her again. <laughs> it's fucking amazing, I love it. Yeah. Anyway. Um... Yeah. yeah. You know what needs to be done here. Well, yeah, that. That's it. Stops there. That's fair. Punk. Honestly. You punk. I, mean, I haven't even finished the thing, right? I've yet to meet her in three, which I assume is going to be a fair amount. But you were solid in one. Had her in two. Um, and that's that's about it. You got to you got to fuck her in two, which was nice. That was cool. Um, show that game. I did the first game trying to do it. <laughs> which, um, the I mean, surely you can't. Surely you can't if you don't do it in two. If you don't try in one, I'd imagine. Uh, Actually, no. Maybe no, you I can. Think... Maybe you can as long as you it's don't. Not... As long as you don't romance someone else um, in one. Yeah. Maybe you still can. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. It, it made it. It made it like it's pretty funny because the, the uh, little comic strip at the beginning of the second game. Like, it had, like, the choices you made, essentially. It was like, oh, Ashley and the R or whatever, what fucking stupid bitch's name is. Um, they were, they were like, you know, there was there was love there, but I decided not to do it and put the mission first. I'm like, no, that's not the case at all. <laughs> I, just, I just didn't like either of them. Um, but I appreciate the heroic depiction. Um, nice. But, yeah, no. No lower, though. Yeah, Charlie's sure. great. Yeah. Uh, unique character, personality, um, very like, good, very good character. Like no annoying aspect. Well, I mean, she's like 
you know, she could be easily be annoying to some people, I reckon. Um, but she's not like flawed in any you particular think, you way. Would think, you would think she's more timid than she is as well. Like she strikes you as the type of person that would, you know, would be more timid, but she is not at all. <laughs> it's like sometimes she says, "Yeah, fucking kill him." <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, Tyra's up there. Maybe probably the best female character. Um, actually. God, no. So, I, I, I can't. I, I'm not putting her ass though. I I don't know who else would. Oh, wait, actually, I, don't, I know someone would go up there, but I would. Um, we might like we might have to clear it a little bit. Um, like as much as he deserves it up there, um, I kind of want this to like represent it a bit better than the meme meme dog. Um, oh, the dog. Yeah. Um. Okay. It's just I don't know. Let's pretend we don't know who it is. No. Yeah, we don't know who the dog is. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. Let's just move on for now. Um. Sovereign. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh... Okay. Sure. Why not? Yeah. No, Sovereign, no, Sovereign's he's... actually kind of cool. I think he's better than I think he's better than Saren actually. When you do uh, no, when you do hear Sovereign talk, he's kind of like a bit of a he's a he's a f interesting bloke. Yeah, Sovereign goes hard. He's got yeah. ideas. He's got Yeah. Does try and get in your head. Let me just see. Much better considering how little you talk to him. And even if it's the Reapers as a whole, I don't think that changes much, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. All right. So I guess it's got to be the Harbinger. I think it is just a normal collector soldier, but yeah. But you know, the other ones have. A I don't even remember the Harbinger thing. talking. Does it talk? It does every time he possesses someone, it's like, oh, I am the future. Oh I, yeah, I yeah. It was kind of like, um, it, yeah, it was a bit tropey. Like, as in, it wasn't. It wasn't that trope done particularly well, you know. No, it was very bad actually. They they really weren't anything. There was no character behind the collectors, which is what I think you know. Give him credit where credit's due. The Fallon or whatever his fucking stupid name is, um, he kind of was a person um, oh, behind the Saren. Saren, yeah. Um, but the collectors really aren't like. There's no character in the collectors you're trying to take down where there's no personal stake yeah really. the harbinger yeah so i think d uh, well you don't even kill the harbinger you don't fight him um, you fight and you destroy a giant like human sovereign mech uh, not sovereign it's human reaper mech and then it comes back like you don't fight the harbinger yeah harbinger yeah. more like uh, ha more like Fucking idiot. Now, what the hell is this supposed to be? I don't know. Oh, it's those two. Oh, it's those it's two. Engineered. It's the two. It's the guys. They are pairs. I'm not surprised they put them in together. Um, they're solid. They're like C, right? Well done. Well, well done spotting that. If we have to put them together, I guess so. I mean, I don't feel that. I never was like particularly interested in what they had to say, to be honest. Um, it's it might not hold on because we put the fucking engineering guy in. I think... I think they're together. They're just a pair. I view those three as the same, pretty much. So, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I like him more actually. I don't remember his name. Um. Oh! There he is. Oh! 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 You could have, like, I would have fought for Grunt being an S over Rex, because I know they wouldn't be in the same one, but Citadel DLC was enough Rex for me to just completely renew that that passion, because obviously in the second game he really wasn't much of a thing, but, um, I mean, and plus with him being the um, main guy, right, you, just generally even in the base game you get more of him, um, but... Yeah, no, Rex is amazing, right? I, I think I, everyone would agree with that, I think. <laughs> like, I assume. I can't, I can't see a universe where Rex isn't beloved by all. I mean, these two do sort of complement each other quite well. I can't remember if they actually... If, is there, like, interaction pretty much contained to that arc, though? It might be, but either way, Maybe. as in the Genophage yeah. like, story arc... I think that's well, pretty much the only time they interact, but still. Technically, you 
when you talk to Rex in the second game, um, Morden's trust quest means you would bring Morden onto there, and they have an interaction, technically. Um, but that's really a, a technically kind of situation there. <laughs> it's not really an actual like Morden and Rex having like just talking without you being there or anything like walking in on it. Um, I think they are meant to be like the um, the pinnacle of their species is actually because they sort of break they they do fit into this the tropes but they escape the flaws as well of their like species they're, actually, they're, like, they're, like, they're like the same thing but it's different because they're slightly uh morden obviously he's a scientist but he's a very warlike scientist right like he is like that's that's what like when you meet him like people keep saying he's weird because like he's just as likely to shoot you as he is to save your life like kind of thing um, but like Rex, obviously he's pretty brute and grunt on that, but he's also like unlike Krogans, like he's more diplomatic than all the other Krogans and more like willing to talk. So like they kind of uh, they are the best at what their species is known for, and like does the other stuff as well, right? Like um, they're better. I think Rex is area. like Rex is probably more similar to other Krogans than. Maybe more into other scenarios, but the difference with Rex is that he's just open to befriending people who aren't Krogan. That's basically it, and they sort of, and he sort of is happy to go along with them and sort of be loyal to Shepard. That's kind of the difference, where he's okay with sort of um, not working for someone else, but like you know, acting on behalf of someone else or alongside someone else. He's he's capable of actually. Acting with under motives that aren't purely his own, basically, <laughs> he's just capable of it. Um, yeah. So good on him. Krogan with like a higher purpose, which is basically just instilled with him by being with Shepard, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Thane. What well, once again, Thane would have been just like um, Salami, whatever that other Judicia bitch is. Salami. Like, watching him throw hands with the basic bitch um, cyberpunk anime guy, um, that I genuinely, I was like, yes, yeah, yeah, like just like, genuinely. That's not an exaggeration. I shouted that. I swung my arm around. No one else was home, um, and like I don't know, because he was already basically like, because with you, like you know, he he dies for you, doesn't he? Um, which, I think so. It's not, did he? It's not a. I almost what remember him having that moment that you mentioned, so maybe he didn't. I don't know. I've heard it multiple times. Maybe I'm probably going to play th th this quite soon, I reckon, again. The third one or all of them? The whole thing. Yeah, fair enough. Because um, um, I'm going to do it like a completely different... And it's going to be... It might annoy me because I'm going to force myself to go down different paths, right? Because obviously I'm going to play as a female. I'm going to... Different romance option. Maybe Tali. Don't worry. Um, and I'm gonna like a big one. Like it's also like um, well, I'm gonna make sure everyone survives a mission, the suicide mission. I'm also gonna pick actually Samara's daughter over Samara. I want to see how that goes, things like that. And basically, probably just be a, a massive fucking renegade. Um, the one thing I don't know if I can change though is obviously picking Caden over Ashley. But then again, we don't like Ashley either. So all right, Fane. Let's decide on Fane though. I mean, B is probably. Fane at least, but probably not higher either. I mean, I like him a lot. I, I find him, even though he's quite, I don't know, written, it's sort of just like, let's just give him like a sad backstory and whatnot. It works. It works for me, genuinely. Yeah. And the fact like, that he's dying, dying as well, I thought was genuinely really cool. Yeah, the um, dying old assassin that goes on a suicide mission, because what does it matter really for him? Like, that and, you know, and then he does that thing with his son, which is pretty cool. And the fact that in the third game, like his son is prominent, like because when you see him, like when you first meet him on the third game, he's just in the um, hospital and he's just sitting there, just looking out. So of I have a proposition he's... about some character placements. I'm going to save until we've ranked everyone, though. But for now, we're going to leave Fane in B, I think. Yeah, but I honestly would be maybe put it, willing to put him in A, Garus! especially since he's sitting next to him. Garus, yeah, he's certainly allowed to be in A. There's a time when I would have put him in S, um, but I don't time think I'm going to. But he's still like he's just up there. He's just he's just 
solid through and through and he's like he's just cool he's just really cool that's kind of where it, it stops like, he's not like too stereotypically like, cool either he's not like um he's sort of like an in-between like nerd and jock isn't he he's kind of weird like yeah. that he's my main theory as to why i no one died during that thing because uh, he was just such a clear obvious second in command like if shepherd was not in charge of everything aris would be like he's just such a clear like that's like that. Well, but apparently he's not that good, since in the second group his thing is that everyone died under his command. Or yeah. Something. Well, to me he's like he's like literally an all rounder in terms of like skills and traits, and yet he's not like he doesn't he doesn't um it doesn't pan out to being boring though. He's still an interesting character to me, but he's also like got everything going on. <laughs> he's yeah, yeah like, very well developed. Very, very not annoying. It's a very nice character to have around as well, in general. Um, yeah. My only issue with him is, as mentioned, like, you, like, he has, like, no voice lines in the second game. Like, Even though he's, like, has, like, a really cool, like, um, status in the second game, still. Interesting. Yeah, like, oh, Archangel thing. Well, it really makes sense, though, because he's, like, he's, like, huge in one and three. And then two really needs to make room for, like, a lot of other characters. Um, yeah, and especially Morden is is what it feels like. Um, because yeah, I know I think Morden does step into that territory of being your second hand man for the second game. Um, but Garrus is also like he is like Shepard's best friend as well, pretty much like Garen. That's they, just how yeah, it is. They have, I mean, I feel like they have like the same skill set, especially for my ones, since I think we both were like you know sniper fellas. Um, but yeah, like, he, he is kind of just a soldier guy. But is like really capable. Isn't he like right? the biggest uh, like character on like the, the the like cover for the legendary edition? Like I'm pretty sure he is. It's like like him yeah, yeah. and because obviously Shepard's just like it's just a helmet, so it like you know could be either one. But it's like Garrus and Liara are like the biggest faces on that like, that cover like by far. Like, I, I I thought that Garrus wasn't even on there, or like he was really small because there was a very small um, Turian. And like, wow, they did they did Garrus dirty, and then I realized, oh no, wait, he's a giant like thing in the background. <laughs> like he was so big, I didn't even fucking notice him. Exactly, he's um, just like a constant presence. Well, just constant, yeah. and it's it doesn't it doesn't wear out either. Yeah, he's, he's great. He's great. Um, army is like barely in the second game at all. She's she doesn't join your crew, but Garrus does. Garrus and Talia are there. Like they're from there from the beginning. And Garrus and Liara, not. Oh, Tally. The, uh, the Wait, are you talking about the second? Oh, you talking about the second game? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So the one, the ones that are actually there in all three games are Garrison and, and Tally. Like they're the only two, right? Yep. Yeah. So respect where respect's due. Really yeah. Ones. I mean, honestly, it's difficult actually not putting him in S to be honest for me. But the issue is, hey, is that if you put him in S, Tally goes in S. So that's that's the ultimatum you're stuck. Well, with hold there. on, don't worry. We'll get to, we'll get to it. We'll get to that. I think I know what we're gonna do. Oh. I think we're not gonna do. Miranda, like high C. Fine. I that's think she's C. um a like developed character. That's uh, that's like uh, the best I'll say about her. She's a developed okay. character. <laughs> she's. <laughs> Other than the trust quest, literally, I talked to her twice. It was to start the trust quest and to resolve the trust quest. Like like just. To talk to her well, she's also to not she's also not meant to be inherently likable but she's also not meant to be someone you hate either and i think it's balanced decently actually yeah. she's also the first quest i ever turned down like when she <laughs> went up to me in the third game saying like hey something happened to my sister i'm really scared i just said that's, that's i don't know whether they're being man. controversy because you wouldn't know i mean i, I never saw them either there was like actually no, I, I would have done when i played free originally there was like controversy where what pretty much the only thing they did to the third game was change some like camera shots in some cutscenes that focus too much on her behind <laughs> it was actually particularly the scene where she's like explaining about her um her sister like the whole like backstory there and like it's like lingering ass shots <laughs> it's like really like weird and then people are like ah what are you what are you, what are you doing why are you taking that away it's like it's kind of out of place it's, ru it's not ruining it, guys. Come on. There's a time and a place for ass shots, and it's not when someone's sister is dying. <laughs> like... Yeah, but Miranda is a good character. 
I don't like her a lot, but I think she's at least like um, at least unique. C tier human. <laughs> like... Yeah, she's not low in humans at all. Um, anyway, uh, to, also, who also isn't low is Jack. Um, uh, I I would say B. Yeah, really like Jack. As mentioned, honestly, if if Tally wasn't romanceable, it would have been a hard Jack. Like, <laughs> that. And especially, I guess you the, like uh, getting pegged then. I guess. In the second game, she actually just got like hair, which is a pretty good improvement. Um, I mean, the third game because she's introduced yeah, in the, the second one, game, yeah. um, and she wears clothes in the third game as well, which is nice. Both big improvements. Yep. Yeah. Plus, she's a, like a teacher that cares about things. Point is, good arc. Zach was Zach was, was was cool, and now she's like like a teacher, which is like an arc, I guess. That's cool. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything more to say. Really, that, that's really. kind of it. Jack is just kind of cool. That's it. Yeah. Um, Said. Not cool. No, not cool. Um, I accidentally spared him. Accidentally spared him. <laughs> yeah, well, I told you the story. He gets stuck at the end of the um, like the trust quest. And I wanted to leave him for dead, so I picked the um, the thing option saying you deserve this. But it, it turns out it was the um, you know good guy voice option. It was basically to just say that you know think about what you're doing and then you know come back to me essentially. Um, and uh, he was like, "You're right." I'm like, "Fuck." <laughs> yeah. Um, although it did, it does pay off because otherwise I wouldn't have had everyone survive the suicide mission. Because um, I wouldn't have been there. But still, fuck Saeed. <laughs> fuck <laughs> Saeed. Saeed. Fuck Saeed. Um, okay. Caden. Literally, I was about to ask who the hell is I that? know who Caden is, <laughs> but I kind of want to put him in who. I kind of want to put him in who. That's like where he belongs. I have not played with Caden. He, d- he dies every time. Um, Sorry, Caden. I was- and Caden, yeah, and I, know, I actually found him quite annoying. I don't think he's partic- I don't actually think the voice act is great for Caden. Um, which is maybe a bit unfair. I don't know, but I didn't like his way. He spoke. You guys, you should be fine leaving him in who because it, it's just like it's Caden, and, and anyone who knows it's Caden knows that he deserves to be in who. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That that'll probably do. Game so close to being able to kill her. Could I actually have killed her in that uh, in three? The problem with Ashley, I really can't actually tell how they want you to feel about her. I because she's not an in, but then again, she is a xenophobe, like pretty definitively. So there is that. Yeah. And then she also oh. like she also like assu- oh. assumes that you're like interested in her as well. Um. Yeah. And her health being a bitch in the second game. That, like, I already didn't she like She also her. doesn't awesome. get better. That's the thing. She doesn't have like a particularly great arc. If if, if anything, the arc is making her more... um, Making it more justifiable to shoot her. <laughs> yeah. That's the only real <laughs> development she gets. I think... It, it, it could be really like harsh. Like, like, we could be just be being like assholes by putting her in F, but... It feels like it's one of those scenarios where um, the writers just assumed that you would like that character for no good reason, and and they just kind of went with that. They, they, they just they just assume that you are supposed to like this character because it's like a main character, um, and you know, and they just went off that, and they just kept kind of doubling down on her traits, which is just no fuck her, and not literally. Do not do, do not do that. that. You haven't done that. No, have I haven't ever done it, and I won't. <laughs> Man. Yeah. I was gonna say screw Ashley again, but that that implies why are so many things where it's like that, but it's yeah, fuck, fuck screw. Who? Um, what's it, isn't it? Really, yeah. Uh... Have sex with. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that doesn't really. No. <laughs> uh, Speaking of have sex with, I I've chatted shit about Joker because you chatted shit about Joker. But when it comes down to it, I like him. I think um, Joker Joker is the one who bothers and just being annoying because he's like a very very co- like frequent, very present character. Um, but I don't I don't know. I don't know where I'm at on Joker. 
He's one of the few characters. Well, I say one of the few. Might be the only character you play that isn't Shepard. Right? You have to play him in the second game um, to like flee the uh, actors. So, uh, you know, if he's that bad, why did you play him, Harry? He's also got some good depth as well. Probably the most um, famous voice actor, Seth Green. I don't even know who that is, but he's quite famous. Um, I think I recognise his voice. It's he, pretty... <laughs> he was in Scooby Doo. <laughs> he was oh, yeah. Belma's date in Scooby Doo. Oh, yeah. He's he's... Chris. Is he? He's Chris. Yeah. How of the Duck. Oh, look, Joker's mentioned here. He's actually up there. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's probably one of the roles he has the most dialogue he's he's done like four. Yeah. Um, I, I I I I can't sit by and have you put him in there. That that'll be it. Would be wrong. It really would be wrong to put him in D. He deserves B, but if you don't like him, then he, I don't actually it. dislike him. I don't actually dislike him. Okay. I think I think they think he's funnier than he is. Yeah. He's funnier. That's where um, it. That's what gets me. He's clearly meant to be fun. I don't find him funny. Um, I don't. Not everything about him is lost to me. I think actually everything about his character actually works. Aside from that, to be honest. But I think his thing with Evie is actually not that bad. It's one of the better parts of him. How in like the second game at the beginning, he fucking hates it because like he he's a, a lone wolf. Or, like he claims to be at least, and the cripple. Well, he just prefers uh, to fly the ship himself. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. Complete and utter faith in his own abilities. Um, Despite having fucking jelly legs, just my... I, I, thank. Yeah. We're lucky. Don't the lucky. Don't you do pedals? Like <laughs> fly the ship. Yeah. yeah. But um, you yeah, know, he's he's yeah, he's fine for him. Yeah. I could see people putting him higher, but those people would be not us. Anyway, yeah, so that's... the thing is, we should probably actually use rank these as the clone shepherd, right? I just realised. Yeah. Well, I did think that, but um. I'm not sure what to say about Clone Shepard. Um, he, he, the story was very obvious. He is a shepherd that decided that he didn't need friends, and he turned down the power of friendship. The power of friendship on the side of our shepherd won us the day. And that was really the point, right? Like, it was a very power of friends kind of scenario. Um, but... Uh, wasn't that bad. I tried saving him. Um, put himself though, <laughs> so not great. Yeah. Clone. D for clone. D for clone. Explode C tier. As Shepard, generally, I think Shepard would go and see. All right, so oh. we need to take a moment to search some characters. Less of a character than the assistant in three, so at least three D. All right, Kelly goes in D. Yep. To rank it or yeah yeah we would this this done all right so it's a reporter so she just blames the other reporter uh, she's not as bad you didn't punch her fine all right <laughs> all right so the catalyst is something um it's important but not much for character i'll tell you that tyler hasn't made it yet but easy okay but she like okay so this is a bartender um, a Bart Ender. And like, called, called stuff out and stuff. I'm surprised the uh, green Asari isn't here. Like the one that... Um, oh my god, I forgot about that. Yeah, like she's more important than this random bitch. <laughs> like what the hell? Is she anything? I don't remember her at all. The bartender? Yeah. I think. She's literally just a character you talk to once. And that's like it. I have no idea why she's. Oh, here. this woman. I do actually recognise her. I just don't remember what she is. So this is Doctor Chloe Michelle. She's like in every game, and she actually does quite a bit, it seems. But I also don't remember her. Um, <laughs> I think she she, <laughs> she could just stay there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's really it, because other ones we know. We're just making a joke. So yeah, pretty much. Anyway, um, so the the proposition. The proposition was this. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of that proposition. It's pretty solid, isn't it? It's pretty solid. 
I mean, th this to me are like the four characters that best represent the games. That, like Mass Effect, to be honest. The, those four are the characters, right? I think, yeah. Yeah, I mean, technically, well, not really technically, but like, if like really the big five is kind Ruben. of this is kind of meant to be the big five, really. Yeah. Like the, those yeah. five and Shepard, it's like that's like the six most important species. Well, um, but sorry, Liara. But these guys, solid bunch. Yeah. Top dons, I'd say. All of them. Kiss yeah. each of them on the mouth. I'll kiss Maybe each of these guys on the cheek as well. <laughs> yeah. And B gets like a, a hug, probably. Maybe. I mean, I wouldn't hug some of them because they scare me, but... Which one would, Which one scares you the most? Uh, uh, B. Jack, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's mine's probably um Joker. I don't know, I think he'd try and kiss me. <laughs> Joker <laughs> That face is kind of like a bit what's he doing? What's he doing? Tweaking. He's tweaking. He's... See? Yeah. I'll give him a firm handshake. Um yeah. e, I wouldn't punch them. Um F I have punched them. <laughs> I have I have killed two of them and punched another one like three times. Who I would <laughs> who I would ignore, pet, and kill. <laughs> <laughs> three yeah. different options. But that's great. Even Maybe though we too. do know who they all are now, but they still belong in the who tier. <laughs> yeah, they've earned it. Um, I think that oh. this. I think that this is perfect. Yeah. I'm surprised, considering I would have thought ED would have been a bit like you went 100 percent on that. Um, but uh, I think it's right. And I think you don't get a say. Uh, you can add a mod into. Wait. <laughs> no fuck. Are you fucking this up? <laughs> actually because i actually believe i oh right you have to i believe this i believe in this i have, I have someone else you might want to put in the elusive man tier go down to go down to who and then there's, there's this dog yeah <laughs> Perfect. That's perfect. It's yeah. absolutely perfect. It's absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Okay, that is the Mad Spec characters tier list done and dusted. Um, obviously, yeah. you can report to me any changes if once you finish free. Um, a little while. Um, yeah. Either way. Anything. Um, give, it, give it time. Wow. Yeah. We'll be back to our regularly scheduled content at some point, but uh, I think we wanted this excuse to talk about the character, didn't we? As soon as I started playing them, I think we had this in mind. Um, and here we are. Hell yeah. Fucking Morden, Morden's dick together. Um, yep. Or, I, I don't think, I reckon Krogan genitalia is terrifying. I reckon it's like um, it's like a scale. That's how I picture it. Um, like it's like just like a really sharp upward. Like, Although honestly, slap. I reckon Turians are worse. Turians are so dry. Yeah, Turians are really weird. They're bones. I mean, obviously, I guess Krogans kind of have bones on the outside as well. The helmet, the heads. But yeah, and then Solarians are probably like actually not too abnormal in that department but they're still the Aryans. yeah but i think easily like they're the, too uh, uncanny most... they're too uncanny ali's race is probably the um the most human i would imagine like naked if you know what i mean <laughs> maybe we should look into Sam, this you know what i mean they've got they've got the most human proportions you can just tell by the suit right um what about fame <laughs> Yes, yeah, but the face is a bit odd. 
um, with scales and that. And he's fine. I'd kiss him. I would too. I love Faye. And only because of that scene. Just literally, just they just actually decided to just fuck it, go hard. Like they genuinely, I don't think they've seen. I've seen them do like a fight scene as well as that. Um, they just not done it. You, you gonna find it? Not sure we can do this. Um. Ken versus whatever his name is. That's the one. It's already there. They know damn well what people want. Yeah. I was just meant. I was just, fuck. I was just meant to like turn the the whatever off. Not the top one. Top one look good. What? There's one above it. It's like 4K. Oh. I can't play it in 4K. That'll destroy my laptop. <laughs> no, they took Javik with them. Oh, why would they take Javik? And James, what the fuck is wrong? <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? And that guy's like alive, and that's never brought up. You can get James's armor. Oh, he's wearing it. Shepard's wearing it. Big armor. Oh, I remember this bitch. She looks unharmed. Get her somewhere safe. Yeah, this is when he like first appears. Why Shepard's? What's going on with his eyes? He's waving like glowing red eyes or some shit. Yeah. Don't even think about it. Shepard, get going to kill him. That really like cutscene Shepard most of the time. I mean, Dina, he's staging a coup. He just, he's the just kind of standing there. Crunch. Yeah, but it's still just standing there. You know, he even had biotic powers, and they never fucking used them. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, he does. You know, die. That was a little bit disappointing. Um. Fuck you. Shut up. I love Faint. I, anyway, I already did. I already did. So fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. That guy for killing him. What? Fuck Tai, whatever it was. Uh, Tai Leng. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I'm already pissed he's that high. <laughs> it easily a put me now. Hold on, I think we need a better colour for this. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. That's that's pr pretty swish. All right, it's over. Get out of here. Um, we're 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 hyped, driving away. Whatever, whatever it is. In the, um, you think it's a mass relay? Yeah, that's pretty cool. One. It's like a big, it's like it's just a big slingshot. It's a big <laughs> yeah, cosmic slingshot. Oh, I, I like them. I like the mass relays. Uh, they did do some really cool things with sci-fi in in the Mass Effect. There's some I mean, decent ideas. Cool. There are some decent ideas. Like the whole, even though I still don't know it, I assume we'll find out why they do like the fifty thousand year wipe like stuff. The Leviathan DLC is all about that stuff. Um, right. Like major Reaper backstory stuff. Well, I'm um, of the opinion. I mean, you would know, and you probably spoil it by not reacting. But I'm just of the opinion that the Leviathan is just a Reaper that's just changed teams. Oh, we're gonna stop um, recording now. Um, <laughs> we're gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Goodbye.